Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Today is 10 or October 6th, 2021. I think it's Wednesday. I wanted to share this uh, letter from Dawn that I got yesterday. Make sure that's right. Let me push it back up. It's, it's a good one. Um, yes, it was received October 5th. The first one is called Small Straws in a Soft Wind by Marcia Burns. Well, this is a vision she got. In a vision, I saw a very large and beautiful bowl of fruit. Each piece had been washed and carefully placed in the bowl and set on a table for consumption. I heard the Lord say that we are not only to acknowledge the Holy Spirit, but to feed on Him and allow his attributes to fill and nourish us so that we become like him. The verses given are Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace. This says forbearance or patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control against such things there is no law yep that's how we're supposed to live walk it out with the fruit of the spirit i'm struggling with one of those right now but i'm praying on it and doing the best i can that's the way it happens sometimes you come under attack <laughs> i guess it's an attack I just seem to be crying too much, so I feel like I'm losing self-control. I don't know. Maybe it's just I'm emotional because of the times we're living in. It's sad. It's very sad. And some days I can't get a, as good a grip on it as other days. And this one, this message from the Lord, I believe it's from the Lord. It was received by Glenda Lomax that uh, in times past I have questioned whether this message or that message was from the Lord. So please use discernment as you hear this. And if you don't believe this person hears from the Lord, then just ignore it. I am not sure, but the wording is right. All right. It's called Be Prepared to Choose, and it was received on Monday, October 4th. And this one has never been shared on one of Dawn's newsletters, prophecy letters, whatever word you want to give this thing. Letters from Dawn. <laughs> oh, my children, you are walking in a most difficult season in this time. You will be forced to choose again and again if you love me more than you love the world, more than you love your earthly comforts, more than you love anyone or anything. This will not be an easy time for you. At times you will be tempted to wish for times past when you were comfortable and loved. For in this time, the enemy of your souls is stirring up hatred towards my people everywhere. Prepare to come home, my children, for your homecoming is both imminent and very soon indeed. Some of you will not see the evils to come. That's probably those of us going first. Others of you will. Do not dread it, but be prepared at all times to choose. Matthew 10, 33 in the King James Version says, But whosoever shall deny me before men, him will I also deny before my Father which is in heaven. Ephesians 6, 11, Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. 
and he caused it all, both small and great. With this is, I'm sorry, I should have said Revelation chapter 13, verses 16 through 18 in the K, KJV. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. That, oh, did you know that the, the Greek for hand is also arm? Yeah. And that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark. Or maybe it's the Aramaic. Forgive me if it's not Greek. You look it up and go, it doesn't say that. It might be the Aramaic. Save he that had the mark, or the name of the beast, or the number of his name. Like, you know, the patent number for that thing is 060606 at the end of it. Here is wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred, three score, and six. See, God knows how to talk in code. October 5th, 2021. Mixed thoughts stay in your mind about demons. Is it in the Bible? Yes, you know it is. Get with someone who has settled in their mind the truth. Someone who has studied and who has experience with demons. Excuse me. The devil wants it to be an ambivalent, to be ambivalent in your mind. He wants it to be no big deal. He wants you to have mixed feelings about it. And that way you can help no one including yourself. Take action and find out, then minister. That's a heavy word. Do you know how many Christians absolutely refuse to believe that a Christian could possibly have a demon? Hey, yeah, I believe that way. I thought once that Holy Spirit comes in and filled me up, I spoke in tongues, no way was there a demon in me. Don't even suggest that. But after someone told me that my seizures looked to be demonic, I mean, they were trying to say it real nice. It kind of weighed on me. And I kind of wondered. And they offered to pay for me to go to this church Presbyterian, really? Cast out demons? After a week of classes, like it's a Monday through Friday thing, they were going to pay for my husband and I to go, him to get free of his addictions, and me of uh, that, you know, uh, seizures from demons. Well, I thought, that's ridiculous. If demons could be casted out, it could, someone around here could do it. If that's what it is, I prayed, Lord, you show me. You reveal it to me. There's no need of me taking their hundreds of dollars, Tommy losing a whole week of work, to go down there to get done what someone around here could do. So I asked the Lord to show me some church that did that kind of thing around where we lived. And eventually he did. We both ended up going to the deliverance conferences from the Assemblies of God church that we went to. They had a men's one weekend. Three months later they'd do the women. Three months later, they'd do the men again. Three months later, they'd do the women again. They'd go out to this YMCA camp about an hour's drive from church out in the country in some woods. And it was lovely. I had a great time. I wrote down all the sins I could think of, everything I regretted, things I was willing to let go of, and I nailed it to the cross. Now, the men... When they had theirs, one of the men would carry that cross to the fire uh, that they had outside. No matter when, what kind of, uh, I guess if it was pouring down rain, they'd have to wait. But anyway, it always seemed to work out when, I, when we were there. I never heard of anybody getting rained out. But when we went, we just tore our paper off and folded it up. We carried our paper, each individually, to the to the uh, campfire 
down in the woods in the dark and then we would tear our thing to shreds and throw it in the fire as part of the deliverance getting forgiving ourselves forgiving others and then there was there was a I guess we went back and had about an hour or so of or maybe it was Sunday morning when we got actually delivered and or filled with the Holy Spirit but it was an awesome time so anyway so yeah I sought that and I still had the problem so I thought well either it didn't work or whatever long story short now I'm freed okay years later I've gotten rid of all my demons so yes you can have demons okay so don't think you cannot most Christians need some form of heart healing and deliverance all right so I just suggest you pray about it watch Derek Prince self deliverance or deliverance however it's worded you can help yourself by watching them and doing what he says repeat after him casting them out you take a deep breath you blow out and if you're sincere you mean it that thing will come out and you'll either cough you might throw up it might yell on the way out but you're going to do something you might burp a lot you're going there's going to be a manifestation just like when you get filled up with the holy spirit you speak in tongues i don't care if it's two words you're going to speak in tongues if you're truly filled why would jesus withhold that from some people unless it's a block would he go ahead and fill you up and then let your your mental block stop the holy spirit from speaking i guess that's possible who can know the mind of christ right i can't some people claim they were filled and they felt something they felt something yeah they were all excited they felt something but they couldn't pray in tongues okay you might want to pray about that the verse here in first peter 5 verses 8 and 9 says be of sober spirit be on the alert your adversary the devil prowls about around like my my version says about so i guess it's sort of memorized <laughs> prowls around like a roaring lion seeking someone to devour but resist him firm in your belief knowing that the same experiences of suffering are being accomplished by your brethren who are in the world that was received by bev robinson lastly can you see it there is a huge window of opportunity opening over you and i'm burning up it's my hair i took it down and brushed it out and now i'm burning up okay there is a huge window of opportunity opening over you I have caused some things in your life to come into alignment that will open a door into those things for which you have prayed. Trust me, seek me, and do not move until you see the window open, and I beckon you to step into my plans for you. Peace will overwhelm you when you access the plan that is your destiny. The verse put with this is Isaiah 32, 17 through 18. And the work of righteousness will be peace, and the service of righteousness, quietness, and confidence forever. Then my people will live in a peaceful habitation and in secure dwellings and in undisturbed resting places. Jonas Bolin received that. Okay, so now I'm going to say this. I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and pray that it has either encouraged or enlightened you in some way or taught you something you didn't know or need to know. I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you, all of us, and our devices and the internet connections so we can stay in touch until we're out of here you know a 
according to the book of Jubilees, we're supposed to be keeping a calendar by the sun, not the moon. Where did the Jews get that? Hmm, maybe through moon worship, false gods along the way. I don't know. It's in our Bible. Maybe that's why some people think the book of Jubilees needed to go. But anyway, according to the book of Jubilees, today is the first day of tabernacles. And you know when Jesus got transfigured on the mount with Peter, James, and John, when Moses and Elijah came down and joined Jesus, it was during tabernacles. So hold your head up and keep looking up. It could be our redemption draws nigher and nigher than we think. Oh, Jesus, I pray you come and take us off this evil planet. Soon. Amen. Amen. Bye for now, brothers and sisters. I'll talk to you later.